seven seasons and here we are at the national championship there's been a lot of heartbreak a lot of sorrow but a lot of comebacks too we have done the improbable here in this series we have started with the walk-on team about 40 overall and have now put ourselves in position to win a national championship this season has been amazing to say the least I mean, we went on the road, we won there. We went in championship games and won there. We played in the snow and won there. And here we are, here in the national championship in Miami, Florida at the Orange Bowl. Now, we're playing up against a really good Clemson team. And they are led by Heisman Trophy winner, George Jenkins at quarterback. He is the consensus number one pick, a lot like Joe Burrow is in real life. And he is going to be looking to cap off a, a great season and one of the greatest college careers that we've seen in this series. Kirk Herbstreit is going with them in this game. This is the only team that we have ever faced that has a top five offense and a top five defense. George Jenkins also swept all of the Offensive Player Awards, winning the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and last year he also won an Offensive Player of the Year Award. And just looking at him, he's drawing comparisons to Deshaun Watson at quarterback. Now, the rest of their roster is pretty good as well. Like I said, they are a top five offense and, the, and a number, that should number one ranked offense and a top five defense. They are led by Green at running back, but Kevin Crenshaw almost ran for a thousand yards. They almost had three 1,000 yard rushers on their roster. Now, Brad Mathis is a really good receiver. He is a senior and he has eclipsed a thousand yards as well. But on defense, they are actually really, really good. And it's not because they have high overalls, it's because they pretty much have their defense spread out. I mean, sophomores, juniors, even some freshmen on there, and a lot of seniors. But one guy we want to pick on here is Damian Thomas. He's only a 68 overall freshman. He is their starter at free safety. So let's get this national championship underway as Xavier Storm is back to receive the opening kickoff as he gets a huge block that time by Ramel Williams and tiptoes down the sideline gain of 34. Now, a big storyline coming into this game. Bam Cameron had a bruised shoulder last game. Remember, Julian Gonzalez took over for him and ended up running for two touchdowns. So here is Bam right behind DiRoberto for the first carry of the game, and he does get about three yards. Hopefully that shoulder holds up in this game. So now a second and seven this time. DiRoberto all day to throw, but the pocket does collapse, and he does throw this one away. And now that brings it to a third and seven at about the 34 yard line. Five wide receivers out there. DiRoberto slings it and he's got Marquise Moore, the former high school quarterback for a first down. That was an awesome throwing lane that he had and it was just a great throw. Nice anticipation of first down. So past the 50 yard line, here's a handoff. Bam Cameron still in the game. He's got six yards. We do want to monitor him in this game but it will be his last collegiate game. Here's Marcus Smith, the backup quarterback in the game. He runs the read option. He pitches it out to Xavier Storm playing in his last game. That's a gain of 17 for the senior. So first and 10, we got trips to the right this time. DiRoberto throws the left side. He's got Francis Smith, another senior on this offense. Gain of 17 and a first down. Now we're inside the five as here comes Bam Cameron out at running back from the shotgun. He gets it, it's a touchdown, six yards out. What a start to the game. And we drive down the field on this top five defense and we make it seven nothing. And here we go. Here is George Jenkins out at quarterback. We will have to stop him and have to come up with a game plan to neutralize him and this rushing attack. So here he is on the first play. Play action jet sweep. He's gonna take it himself and get up field for about a gain of five on that one. And he is, like I said, the Heisman Trophy winner. Let's see if we can contain him. Here's a run, this time Green. Somehow avoids the tackle from Adam Williams, but does get tripped up from behind. That is Anderson Reed, but that's a gain of 19 for Green. 
So a fresh set of downs here. Here's Jenkins. We're sending a blitz, but this time he gets rid of it to his tight end. That's Lee Anderson. He only picks up two yards on that one, tackled by Victor Dimitrakos. And that brings it to a third and eight. This time we send the pressure. He gets it away to Lee Anderson, but it's a nice tackle by Justin Royal, who also could be playing in his last game as a whitetail. And take a look at Adam Williams getting a good shot on George Jenkins. So we do force the punt on their first possession. Here we are, first throw, and that's deflected. And remember, they have a great defense, and they have a lot of weapons on their defense as well. They can force a lot of turnovers. Here's a throw to the right side on a second and long, and that's going to be Maurice Jackson. He does get tripped up, gain of 15, and that's a first down for the junior. So now from the shotgun here, this time, second and nine, DiRoberto rolls out to the right and gets rid of it that way. It's going to be Bam out of the backfield again. He's got a gain of 13 and a first down. So we're looking good on our first two drives here. Here's a counter play, but not this time. That is a tackle in the backfield. Bam Cameron will lose a few yards, and that's Slater who led their team in tackles with about 91. So second and 13, we run the same counter play this time, and there's nobody home on the left side of the field. And Bam makes it a 22-yard gain and another first down. So now at about the 35-yard line, here is DiRoberto rolling out to the right. He will get rid of it, and that is the junior, Maurice Jackson. Jackson is expected to return for his senior year, and he has been nothing but great in the slot for us in these first three seasons of his career. So here is Bam Cameron with the handoff up the middle. He breaks the tackle and is going to fight forward for a gain of eight. That shoulder doesn't look to be bothering him. As now we get it inside the 10. This time a draw play, but Marcus Smith is checks in, and he gets rocked by Brian Slater, the All-American. And that brings it to a third and six. DiRoberto, quick throw to the right. He's got the senior, Xavier Storm. Touchdown, 13 yards out. DiRoberto looks good to start this game. Remember, last game versus Ohio State, he threw two interceptions, no touchdowns. Now he's got two touchdowns, no interceptions. It's a complete 180, and we are up 14-0 here in the Natty. So here's a jet sweep to start out the next drive. This time, it's their leading receiver. That's Brad Mathis. He gets 13 yards on the carry. Try to get him involved any way they can as they pick up the first down. So here is Jenkins on a second and six. Throw to the right side, and that's Sean Jack. He gets open for only a gain of three. So third and three this time. George Jenkins, he's going to hand it off to Green, who throws a stiff arm on Adam Williams and breaks free, and he will get a lot of yards on this one. That's a gain of 20. He gets it to about the 36-yard line, and that huge stiff arm propels the long run. So first and 10 now. Jenkins from the shotgun. He's got nobody to throw it to. He will tuck it and run, and that's what we want to do. We want to kind of contain him with David Wyatt and Victor Dimitrankos. That's only a gain of a couple. So third and four now. They get a couple yards. Throw across the middle. It is Brad Mathis. He gets 10 yards and a first down as now they're inside a field goal range as Jenkins scrambles out on the next play. This time tackled by Victor Dimitrankos. And we always want to keep that spy on him. We know he is a threat to run the ball. So second and three this time. A play action jet sweep. He has great blocking and somehow gets free and it's going to be a gain of about 12 yards. And now they're inside the five-yard line here for a first and goal. First play, handoff, green, tackled in the backfield. That is Anderson Reed, the sophomore. And now that brings it to a second and goal. They're going to hand it right back to green, but Adam Williams is there, and Victor Dimitrakos is there for the cleanup work. That's a loss of four yards. And that brings it to a third and goal this time. Can we hold him to three? Quick throw across the middle. It's green, who tries to fight forward, does get hit by Jonathan Simmons, and Clemson settles for three. So let's chalk that one up as a win. So here we are back on an offense, running the ball with Bam Cameron. They have not been able to stop the run, and that is 10 yards for the senior running back. And he's almost at 50 yards rushing here in the first half. So we give it right back to him. Great blocking up front, and look at the hole that opens up. It's Bam, he's open 16 yards for a first down run. And wow, we are doing great on the offensive line. And here we go, set up on the other side of the 50. Two minutes left here in the first half. Here is Apollo St. Vincent, the redshirt freshman. He gets 12 yards and a first down. So first and 10 now, under two minutes left. DiRoberto throws to the right side. He's got Xavier Storm who tries to spin away, 
and only picks up a gain of three yards. So third and six, quick throw across the middle. It is deflected by Ian Walton, who's been busy as well on this one. And we will kick the field goal, make it it a 14 point game as we head into halftime with this 17 to three lead and Clemson. I don't know, their offense has been held in check. Let's see if the White Tails can keep it up in the second half. We're coming right back. So here we go. Two more quarters, and you can crown us the national champions. This time, George Jenkins, first play of the second half, throw to the left side as their tight end, Lee Anderson. They're not taking many chances downfield. Let's see if they do it in the second half. Here's a run up the middle, green, and he does fight forward. Just gets enough for the first down, as this is their bread and butter. They run the ball well. Remember, they almost had three 1,000-yard rushers. Second and 10, here's a throw deep down the right sideline. And I don't know if he threw that one away or it was just miscommunication on that one. And that brings it to a third and 10. Throw deep down the right side and it's almost picked off. Like I said, they haven't tried many opportunities downfield. They tried Coco Bamaye on that one and he does not disappoint. And now we get the punt back and we have possession. We have a chance to go up by three scores. The first pass. Price Greer on the sideline, 22 yards. That's a first down for Price Greer. And wow, this offense is just rolling in this one. So now first and 10, here's a dump off pass. This time, a little shovel to Maurice Jackson. He can't get away. He only picks up two yards. So that eventually brings us to a third and seven from the shotgun. Dearberto scrambles out, throws it deep. He's got Francis Smith. And he keeps both feet in bounds, maybe getting ready for the NFL a little bit. And he is a senior playing in his final game. He and Storm are both seniors at, in the receiving core. And that's a big time catch. And now we are inside the 10 yard line. So first and goal, we hand it off to another senior, Bam Cameron. He gets hit and he fumbles it and Covington scoops it. And look at this, he is on his way to the end zone, but we run him down before he even gets to the 50. Take a look, bam, just gets it knocked out of his hands by number 49, that's Ian Thomas. And now here is Clemson back on offense. Maybe that's the jump start they needed. Jenkins scrambling out to the right side. He breaks a tackle from Ali Myers, throws off Justin Royal and he's still on his feet. And he stumbles forward for a gain of 14. And this is the magic that NFL scouts are drooling over. And now here they are with another handoff. This time, Drew Green up the middle, and he only picks up a gain of four yards. So third and six, can we come up with another stop? We send the blitz this time. They run the draw play, and Green just gets enough for the first down. He needed six, he just barely got six, and now they have a fresh set of downs. Anderson, he's been busy in this one, but a couple of like three, four, five yard catches is all he's had in this one. He's got six receptions for 20 yards. So now third and five, will Jenkins try a deep one? No, they dump it off to the running back and it's a stop in the backfield by Coco Bamaye. That's a great heads up play. He saw the screen pass the entire way. And now they line up for a very long field goal. This one's from about 53 yards. This time it's not going to be good. And look at this. We take back over 17 to three and maybe we can make up for that lost fumble on the last possession this time. Xavier Storm starting it out with a gain of 13 on that catch. So first and 10, here's another throw. And that Storm again, I'm gonna miss him next season. He's open, 15 yards and another first down for him. He's been doing his job in this one. So D. Roberto this time, four wide receivers out there. He's gonna scramble to the right side. He gets rid of it on the run and he's gonna find Marquise Moore. And those are the type of throws that have NFL scouts really high on their radar. And wow, I mean, this guy is putting up numbers in this one, handoff. Now inside the five, it's Bam Cameron. Touchdown, making a three score lead here in the national championship. We have shut down George Jenkins and here he comes back on offense. This time they're gonna hand off to Drew Green. He gets a couple of blocks and he makes a couple of men miss in another block downfield and he's gonna take this one the distance. That's a touchdown by the senior running back Drew Green. He made Jonathan Simmons miss. Ali Myers got blocked downfield and Coco Bamaye 
could not trip him up. Just like that, it's right back down to two scores. So here we are back on an offense. This time, Xavier Storm gets open on the left. He picks up a gain of 11, taking a big hit. As now we move on to the fourth quarter. Here's Bam running the ball up the middle, trying to break a tackle that time and break free, but only can get a gain of five yards. So now third and five, throw to the left side. It's the junior tight end. That's Price Greer, gain of 11 and another first down. So now first and 10 this time. DiRoberto scrambles out to the right side. He will stop, he'll throw, and that's Ramel Williams, the true freshman, and he gets going. Gain of 25, his first catch of the game. And now we are set up inside the 20 yard line for a first and 10 throw. This time to the right, it's Price Greer, the other tight end, getting the gain of four yards. Apollo St. Vincent checks in, this time on a third down, he cannot get going. He gets stopped in the backfield, and we do settle for three, making it a 27 to 10 lead now. As can we come up with another stop here on George Jenkins? Screen pass out to the right side. This time, Drew Green does step out of bounds. That's a gain of 14 yards. So now second and 10 here. About four minutes left here in the game. Here's Jenkins, quick throw to the right side. It's knocked away by this junior, Coco Bamaye. And now that brings it to a third and 10. We're gonna send a blitz on this play. They pick it up nicely, but Jenkins gets rid of it deep and it's gonna be knocked away. Victor Dimitranco's playing in coverage that time on the tight end. And now that brings it to a fourth and 10. This play could be the game. Jenkins throws to the right side. He's got Wilson and that's not enough. They needed 10, they only got seven. And look at the stats on George Jenkins, 15 of 25. 105 yards, our defense has played probably its best game of the season. So now we just run out the clock. A couple of first downs and this one is going to be over. Now first and 10, quick throw, it's Ramel Williams. He gets the first and that one will take us to the end of this game and just crown us champions, the White Tails. Seven seasons and it is finally completed. The championship run, the undefeated season, it's come full circle. What a game we just played. I'm the Heisman Trophy winner, George Jenkins. And wow, this just doesn't feel real. It's been almost 100 episodes, 99 to be exact. And we come away with the national championship. Wow, Justin DiRoberto, what a career it's been for him. He's expected to declare now because if he were to show up in this game, NFL scouts are pretty much pegging him as a first round quarterback right behind his opponent, George Jenkins. And wow, what a game from him. 22 of 28, 302 yards and two touchdowns. And look at George Jenkins, the Heisman Trophy winner, 105 yards passing. Do you understand? how hard our defense fought this game to keep this guy out of the end zone. He did not score at all as they only scored on one long run, which was an 82 yarder from Drew Green. We kind of took away their possessions and that's what really hurt them. They barely had any time of possession because they were trying to run the ball and they just couldn't. We took away the run and that's how we won this game. Our defense balled out at every single position. Top to bottom, offensive line dominated at the point of attack. Defensive line, we were pushing them back on every run play. And then our linebackers, led by Adam Williams and Victor Dimitrancos, they had themselves an amazing game. Now let's look at the team stats, though. I mean, this is just impressive. They were three and eight, three for eight on third down, and we almost doubled their yardage on offense. So we add the national championship to the trophy case. We already have four coach, coach of the year awards. And just looking at our tenure here, you can see one and 11, five and seven, eight and five, back to back 11 win, actually three straight 11 win seasons. And then finally 14 and 0, as we cap off our season with a national championship. And that's the first of many, hopefully, and here we go. This is gonna be special going into the next season because 
we're going to lose a ton of guys to the NFL. It's bittersweet. I'm happy for the future of our program. I'm also happy for our departures because there might be a lot now that we just won the national championship. Everybody was in the spotlight, and wow, what a season it's been. I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds here for the White Tails as we head into season eight. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it, let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope.